Hi, in this video I will show you how you can easily create estimates and proposals within high level and thanks to custom values you can automatically and easily send them to the contact of your choice. Here we are again in our sub account and first we want to create an email template. For this we go to marketing emails templates. Here we create a new template at the top right under new but for this example we use one of the existing ones. For example insurance and we take the one on the right here. Select continue. Then it will load briefly and we are right in. Here we could first adapt our logo. Click on it once and use the pencil here for the editing function. Then we could select our logo from the library. In addition we can change all individual images, texts, buttons and so on here. We now assume that I have already done this. Here we might then write, we are here for you, your insurance team. We don't need this button in this case. Down here we then write out the important details that we want to have in the email. I would use all of this here as a conclusion of the mail. Up here we could insert a few things. If you now want to create a proposal for example, you can completely decide how it should look. But it is important that you definitely include a link to this offer in the email and for this we now take a text for example. We can simply insert it here using drag and drop. Now the font is black. With a blue background we prefer to use white font. We can also set bold font. Actually we have heading here. I also removed that and now comes the big trick. We go up to the symbol, custom values, scroll down to proposals, that's exactly what we need now. Here you can first decide that the URL of the offer comes in here for example. Maybe we will put a text above it, make the font white again and write proposal for. Then I would select contact full name under custom values. Then you automatically have the full name of the client to whom you are sending this proposal. Next I would insert something again here. We can make it yellow and write open your proposal now. There are many more options here that you should test. For example you can select the type here. This then indicates whether it is an estimate or a proposal. You can also insert the name of your offer here. We can add another text here. I make it white and bold again. And then we put name here. If we call this proposal test proposal now, test proposal would also be here. Last but not least, I would like to point out that you could also insert the currency and the price directly in the template. But this can also be seen via the link that we have already inserted to the template. We will enter it anyway for this test. Total amount, then a space and here comes the second custom value. Proposals, currency symbol. In my case it is a euro symbol as I offer my products in Europe. So now it's finished. We call it proposal template and save everything. We have already created half of it. Next we go to payments and then you have the option proposals and estimates. There is nothing available here at first but you can also click at new at the top right. Here you can decide between estimate and proposals. To my knowledge the proposal is just more detailed. Mostly with additional legal texts etc. Since the two are identical in structure we now take estimate for our example. Here we can now easily decide how the whole thing should look. This builder is just as simply structured as all the others in high level. First we insert an image here at the top which we can select again on this image symbol and then we take this picture. It doesn't fit the topic at all but it's just an example. Next we insert a text here, your estimate. Then we could insert a video, a page break which we can also do here on the plus then I would put the product list up next. Here we click on add item and now we have to make sure that we have already created products in high level. For example, I have now stored my white label software as products. Don't be surprised, as I said, it is set to euro for me. And then it looks like this. Important for the countries where it is mandatory, taxes must be shown here in many cases. I have now arranged it in this test so that I insert a table afterwards. 
Here we have the total amount and then we can write 19% tax included, 47.42 euro. You can enter everything as you want it. Now I want to insert something underneath. All through we could make a page break, but since I only need a small thing, it might be better if we shrink the image a bit. Now we can insert the signature box at the end. Now we assume that it is finished and click on save. You can use it from now on for all your clients. Then we go back again and we have finished the presets so far. Now I can briefly show you the following. Up here on products you can add your products. That's why it was displayed for me earlier. If you don't have anything in here, of course you can select anything. And now we go back here and to settings. Here you can now decide that the template we created is used when you send an estimate or proposal to the customer. In addition, you can create a second template which you deposit here. This is then sent when the customer has signed. You now save the whole thing. Now we go back and search under the drafts for what we have just created. Open it again. Then we can choose the contacts here. I will take myself. Then I save everything and can also send it directly from here. Now it says success. It worked. I have now received the mail and it looks exactly the way we created it. You can make it a thousand times more beautiful. And then in this mail is also the link that we have stored. I click on it once. Now the offer we just wrote opens directly. Here you can simply click on it and then you are suggested to simply accept and sign the estimate. And that was the whole magic. I really hope you recognize the great added value of this feature and all the possibilities it entails. I can just only show examples here. But my goal is that through this video you can envision how you can use it for yourself, your business and the business of your clients. See you next time.